Hey, what's up everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day today. Today I want to show you guys my setup here and what I did for do-it-yourself stuff that anybody can do to do a couple little tasteful, quick, easy, cheap, or free modifications to your setup. And I'm also going to show you how I've got my G27 a lot quieter than a lot of other Logitech wheels and how I have it mounted up and all of my do-it-yourself setup here today. So without further ado, let's quickly get into this and quickly show you guys what's popping off here. So I've got a shifter, G27 shifter, with a shift knob that has a dead spider inside of it. That is a real dead spider. It's been dead for so long in here that it is actually starting to get color and turn green and gold you can kind of see all of its hair follicles and stuff it's really interesting my dad got me that a long time ago and all you got to do to put on a shift knob on a g27 shifter is one phillips head screw in the top which will then allow you to take it out and you can wrap up a bunch of tape and super glue and slap on literally anything with a hole and uh use it as a shift knob so if you know what i'm saying you know you're your mom's got something in her room that you want to use as a nice long shift knob. I mean, you can do that. It's not very hard to uh, convert that. So we're going to move on over to the SIM hub setup here. Now, all I've done is I've taken the oldest, shittiest, cheapest tablet I had in the house. This is an Amazon Fire tablet. I don't even think they're 100 bucks, man. This is like the cheapest, shittiest piece of crap tablet I've ever used. Not sponsored by Amazon, obviously. Don't ever buy one of these. These things are garbage. The screen sucks. The responsiveness sucks. Everything sucks about it. But it's really good for uh, SimHub. You know, it does display one-to-one. -one. It is accurate there. So if you want to buy one of the worst tablets in the world for a super cheap price just to play on SimHub when you're on a set of Corsa, sure, get one. Otherwise, I'd stay away from this thing. Don't ever get it. So the next thing we got over here is I've got my wheel, okay? And my wheel is literally held there by encyclopedias in the back with a 20 pound dumbbell in the back and a blue wedge that you cannot really see but there is a blue wedge that is going under the wheelbase into the encyclopedias which are being held down by all this weight meaning that this wheel isn't going anywhere no matter how hard I shake it and just for some extra reinforcement, because one day my dad was playing BMNG with me, and he ripped the fucking wheel off my desk driving a lifted 40-inch tire mud truck. That was pretty insane. So I've taken some extra steps, and I've gone and secured this in so much, it's not going anywhere. Totally DIY right here. Now the next thing we got is a wireless keyboard. It's LG or something, Logi. This thing gets the job done. Not much else I can say about that. I'm not going to go spend 300 bucks on a crazy nice keyboard. That's going to make all sorts of fucking noise while I'm here. You know, I, I like this. That doesn't make much noise. It's it's awesome. And I've got a really cheap but functional, I believe, Razer or Corsair little gaming mouse, if you want to call it a gaming mouse. To me, it's just a mouse. I don't, I don't really care about the nice gaming mouse. Anyways, that is the setup, G27 pedals, it's the whole setup there. That's how I got it set up. Custom shifter, custom mount kit for my wheel, shitty cheap tablet that anybody should buy for SimHub if they want to get a cheap screen for SimHub, wireless keyboard, cheap mouse, cheap gaming gamepad, and then in the back we got the 3080 with the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, uh, 4,000 megahertz, 32 gigabyte CL18 RAM, nice case with some big fans and all that stuff. That's where all the money went, as you can see, the money went there, and not there, not there, or anywhere else, really. It all went into the PC, and that's my setup, guys. Big boy PC, and DIY everything else with cheap stuff. Have a good day, everybody. Stay gaming. It's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up. Have a good day, everybody.